32, 34, sometimes 36,000 a month. And then we keep putting money over into the building fund and we keep reaching out to go into new, into new TV. And we take on a little TV at a time. Right now we're to, this, we're to I'm giving the, the guys that work on the pay TV, uh, putting them on hold and telling them to go to the free TV until the income comes up. And then we'll go on more pay TV as the income comes up. And uh, all I want to do is buy TV time. I don't want to buy stuff for me. I just want to buy TV time. That's my main interest in the world is to get this message out because there's a world of people and I talk to people all the time on the phone. I talk to people in public all the time and uh, I watch these preachers and I'm thinking, how in the world is anybody to listen to this drivel? And that's all it is. It's just drivel. And uh, I'm sick and tired of the lies. I want to get this message to as many people as possible. I believe this is the truth. If it's not the truth, there's no such thing as truth. If you define everything, define all the words and the culture and the customs, the idioms, the metaphors, the languages in the first century, what else, what other truth is there besides that? And the Holy Spirit shows you these things and how the word is bound together. If that's not truth, then there's not any. Like I said, throw your Bible away and go party if this isn't the truth. Because if what we're saying is not truth, I listen to preachers all the time. And I just sit there astonished at the ignorance, the willful ignorance. They don't even care what the truth is. I mean, I was watching some guy on TV today, and he I had a confrontation with him in a restaurant one day, and just he's just he's an idiot. I mean, I didn't even want to talk to a man like that. He kept trying to talk to me and tried to holler at me. And I said, get away from my table. Just get away. And I, went, I said, uh, manager, come over here. Tell this man to get over there and sit down. Get away from me. Because he wouldn't just keep just trying to over talk, on talk, on talk. I said, listen to me. Here is what the Bible says. Are you ready? And he just wouldn't, he wouldn't shut up. I said, get away from me. You don't want the truth. And I looked at the guy with him I said if you don't get away from him he'll take you to hell with him well he was on TV today and I just thought well his name is uh, Robert uh, Scales has anybody ever seen him he's a dummy the guy don't have sense enough to walk in out of the rain I don't even think he knows when it's raining but I'm sick of that kind of stuff I'm sick of all these preachers, these TV preachers. And they, today he was talking about Romans 7, the inner and the outer man. And he did exactly what I told y'all preachers did. He said, well, Paul's not talking about what's going on in his life right here. He's talking about what he used to be. And Paul said, the things that I do. Yeah. And he was saying, that's not what he's talking about. And he just got, he got, he talked about twisted and got so messed up. He just went off in space and he going, I even took his number down. I was going to call him. I thought, no, I ain't going to call him. Say, you're lying. you liar. You're going to take your people to hell is what you're going to do. I just thought, what's the use of calling him in and telling him? I've already told him. He watches me on TV. He was using terminology. I know he's watching me and got the terminology from me because he was trying to use what he could. What's so amazing, they're too lazy to study so they'll take stuff from me and they'll try to apply it to their free will message and they get it jumbled and twisted and going, I'm going, what are you doing? Has anybody, have y'all seen any of these guys in locally? I know they're watching what I'm saying because they're using terminology. I'm thinking, I know where you got that, but that ain't the way I'm preaching it. I think they ought to put Outlaw, a man that got off the track in the Bible, I think it ought to be a lifetime sentence in prison to preach false doctrine. That's what it ought to be. Well, it will be a lifetime sentence in hell, except it won't be life, and it'll be the death of eternal death. Don't forget our TV Monday night and Saturday night at 10 on 176, and Wednesday morning, Friday morning uh, on 176, midnight, and then. Uh, uh, Thursday night on Channel 49. Has anybody seen Channel 49? 
Nobody here watches the TV, do they? The? We don't have TV. Huh? We don't have TV. Okay. Nobody watches the program? You saw last 49 last week? On, uh, at 11 o'clock on Thursday. Okay. And uh, then we're uh, Channel 3 in Hendersonville on Monday evening at 5 Thursday night at 7. And then Channel 26 out of Murf out of uh, Lebanon. I started saying Murfreesboro this morning. Out of Lebanon, uh, we're on there uh, every night of the week at 11 o'clock. That's not cable. That's regular TV. And uh, radio Saturday and Sunday morning. Just... Uh, being proud about the ministry. Let me mention one other thing. Uh, Christmas, Mary said, be sure and tell you all this. Christmas is on Friday. Now, it's... Uh, let me put it this way. December the 25th comes on Friday this year. We don't care what the world calls it. We call it December the 25th, Friday. That's all we call it. And uh, so if you're coming, and you should have no reason not to come to our Friday night meeting because it's no different than any other day. So if you come to our Friday, those of you that come to the Friday night meetings at the house, where we fellowship together and, and we eat some snacks and and uh, talk about truth and package DVDs, uh, be sure and bring bring a, uh, some food. Uh, don't leave this all up to Barbara uh, to take care of. And uh, it's a great time to fellowship. If you hadn't come over, you should. Uh, Anything you want to say, Barbara? Not a thing. Okay. Is everybody in good shape? Anybody got any announcements? Anybody want to sing a song? Okay. Solo. Car 54. I don't know Car 54. I don't either. Well, he knows it. That's so funny to listen to him sing it because nobody remembers Car 54 but old people. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, well, we ain't going to make you sing it either. We want somebody to do it all the way through. <laughs> of course, I told him, I said, the reason you remember it, because it's, it's about a squad car in the Bronx or in, in New York City, and you're using all those titles of those places in New York City. I said, that's easy for you to remember, because you knew where they all were. He said, well, yeah, that's right. Well, let's uh, go to the Lord in prayer and... Uh, Please pray for me. I need your prayers. Uh, Jim, back there on the back row, would you? Uh, what do you? What is that? That's a manual. Huh? Is that a manual? Yeah, a manual. What? You want to pray? You want to come up here and pray? Huh? Well, come on up here and pray. Well, let manual pray. Everybody in your head, the man is going to pray for us. Love Emmanuel, because he likes to pray. Let's talk to the Lord for his people. Lord, thank you for his truth. Thank you for this ministry. Lord, thank you for your animals outside. Thank you for your truth. Amen. Amen. I love you. Did you think you forgot to thank God for me? And the Lord to help me. He said Adam. <laughs> well, he did pray for me, didn't he? I'm sorry. I'm. Uh, oh, yeah. Put in a plug there and do a little commercial. Huh? <laughs> That's our commercial for today. All right. Now, how much are you going to pay us for that spot? <laughs> That's the name of Jim's uh, chiropractic company. He's an animal chiropractor, and he uh, it's all all creatures, great and small. So that's a. Uh, I saw that. Was that an old saying or an old movie or something? Yeah. Was, yeah. You know what it was. A books is what it was, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I found it. I saw it the other day. I was reading something somewhere. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Figured you got it out of the Bible or somewhere. No, nothing new. 
You didn't. <laughs> Everything's borrowed. Everything's borrowed. Well, I'm ready to go after after Emmanuel's prayer. Emmanuel's been asking to pray all along the way. Yes, I saw that. I'm glad of that. But the only thing I don't like about it, they're going to buy another one and cost them. Okay, charge the American public. Don't 